All right, well, what's up, everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me. Lost Vape, Orion Q. This is kind of, I don't want to say it's the follow-up, but it's, I mean, it essentially is the follow-up to their original Lost Vape Orion pod system. I'm, I'm a pretty big fan of this. I, I, I just really overall like it. I, I don't want to go over everything I like about the Orion. I already have a review out for the Orion that I'll link down in the description if you want to check it out. But the Orion... The Orion is the Orion, and it's fantastic, and then Lost Vape released the Orion Q, which is kind of, it's not really a step forward for the Orion, it's kind of a, it's kind of a step sideways, I guess. There's a few differences between the original Orion and the new Orion Q as far as what temp, you know, what board is on the inside. It doesn't have that DNA Go board anymore. It still has those great tanks. It still has that great form factor. It's still got that real clicky button. And it genuinely gives me a real, real nice mouth to lung. I fill this up with 12 milligram, uh, just free base liquid. You can use salt mix in here, but I just use free base. Mouth to lung all day long. Mm -hmm. It's just it's just really good and really satisfying. So like I said, there's not a ton of differences between these two devices, but I just wanted to do maybe a real quick little comparison between them. So we're gonna go. Ah! Oh. Close. So yeah, one is an Orion, one is an Orion Q. One is an Orion, one is an Orion Q. Yeah, so as you can see, aesthetically, they, I mean, apart from the color differences, they're essentially identical. They both have the same weight to them. They both they have the same feel to them. They both have the same sort of clicky fire buttons. They both have the same pod release. Pod release. Pod release. Obviously one of the big differences is the Orion Q is missing this little adjustment button right here. This is how you adjusted your settings previously on the Orion, as well as using the DNA Go feature, the replay mode on this. In fact, they've changed the pods as well between the Orion and the Orion Q. The original Orion pods were in a slightly lower resistance and they were stainless steel 316 so that it could utilize that replay feature for temperature control. The newer pods, with the exception of the AFC, see looking a little different are basically essentially 100% the same. The newer pods are also one ohm now as opposed to the 0.25 ohm stainless steel that was in the original Orion pods. And they are one ohm, but I can't find any information anywhere, even from Lost Vape themselves, as to what heating element is in here. I want to assume that it's canthal, but I would really like to know. And the only reason is not everybody can vape every type of wire. There's people that are sensitive to nickel, people that are sensitive to nichrome, and there are people that are sensitive to canthal and stainless steel as well. But it functions the same way as the Orion, dude. Pod goes in like this, you can Cool. snap it down like that. Such an insanely satisfying snap. Of course, you don't have to do that. You can hold this like pod release button down and just kind of set it in there and then let go. It's just not as satisfying without hearing that, oh, that snap. AFC functions the exact same way and they added a little bit of knurling so it's easier to adjust now. Filling it is the exact same way. You just pop the top right there, juice goes in. And that's really all there is to it. One thing that I've noticed on the Q that's different from the original is the Q pods have like a little bit of play in them. I can go like this and I can feel the pod kind of moving around. There's a tiny, tiny little gap right here and it kind of just, I don't know, there's just a little bit of play to it. I don't care. It doesn't bother me. I can just sometimes, I don't know, sometimes I can feel it. And the original Orion with that original pod didn't have that sort of little play. It feels much more secure. Your mileage might vary. It might be on a pod by pod basis to see if you actually even can accomplish that little bit of play in there. Too much talking. Let's vape this. If I had like one complaint about the Orion and the Orion Q, it's that I kind of just wish the flavor was better. Not so much on the Orion because the stainless steel in there gave pretty good flavor. I don't know what it is with the Orion Q pods. Like I said in the up close, I don't know what material they're using in there. The flavor on it is, it, it's fine. This is the situation where the flavor's fine. I know that this is Helen in here. I know what Helen tastes like and I can definitely taste it in here, but I've had Helen in other mouth to lung vapes where it's tasted much more rich, much more flavorful. And I feel like these Lost Vape Orion pods are, 
just a just a slightly lacking in the flavor department. Here's all the specs from the website if anybody's interested. It does have that same 950 ma or milliamp hour battery on the inside. The tank is still super easy to fill. This is this is the Orion. It's just missing that one feature of the DNA Go, which I didn't really use that replay feature on the DNA Go. So Boom, roasted. This is fine for me. I'm a simple straight wattage vapor. This is simple straight wattage vaping. It can do solid mouth to lung. It can do an okay, like very just okay restricted lung hit. It's just a little bit too restricted for my taste. I find myself having to like slipstream it. Like if I take a lung hit, I'm also gonna let air in on the other side of my mouth because you can't just pull air from this. It's just, like I said, it's just a little bit too tight. The other little bummery thing about these new Lost Vape Orion Q pods is the AFC is just real, real loose on it. it just kind of spins around, it never really stays in place, which if you're a mouth to lung vapor, like I wanna vape this to mouth to lung, you can vape it mouth to lung full open, but it's a very, very airy mouth to lung. If you wanna tighten that airflow up at all, obviously you're gonna to have to adjust your AFC down and you find your little sweet spot where you adjust your AFC, mine's kinda of like right there and I know that this is gonna be a rock and mouth to lung with like the perfect amount of resistance. Mm -hmm. And even then it's still a little bit on the airy side. The problem is once you adjust your AFC, it's real easy to mess it up. I mess it up constantly on like a vape by vape basis. Every time I grab this or pick it up or use it or put it in my pocket and pull it out and look at the AFC, yeah, the AFC is absolutely not where I want it to be. But otherwise, it's an Orion. The Orion is rocking. The Orion Q is rocking. And honestly, I love, my favorite part about the Orion Q is, as I pointed out in that little up close segment, it's just got that exposed, you know, a USB mini or micro US, what? Micro USB on there that's not hidden behind like any little weird doors or like a weird little trap door and then you have to charge it from the bottom so you can't set it down while it's charging and it's like this whole big thing and you have to like lay it down and the cue, the cue is just so much better. It's still got that same Orion like feel, that like very cool, techy slick sort of feel to it there is currently and there is going to be in the future a lot more of these like you know this sized real slick real techy feeling pod systems and i genuinely feel like lost vape kind of started that trend and even now as some of those are coming out the orion and the orion q still hold up and in my opinion are still one of the best of these type of little slick techy little pod systems. So let's get down to brass tacks as it were. You're gonna need your vape budget hands if you wanna check out the Orion Q. Not at all. That's that's the purpose of the Orion Q is so you don't necessarily need to evaluate your vape budget hands. The original Orion with the DNA Go board in it was right around 65 to $70. This Orion Q clocks in at right around 30 bucks. So yeah, it's it's a nice little uh, it's a nice little I guess bargain version of the original Orion. And just be careful where you're purchasing your Orion. The Orion itself, the it doesn't come with like a kit. What you buy when you buy the Orion is just this, like just this part of it. If you want pods, which of course you're gonna want pods, those are a separate purchase. Now, if we're gonna play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they come and take everything I have and I have zero things to vape, is the Orion Q something I would seek out and buy right away? Yes, I mean, yes, unflinchingly, unquestionably, yes. $30 for this, you pick up some pods, I mean, you'll be vaping mouth to lung in this cool, slick little, it's just cool, it's just so cool and slick and I like holding it. I Big fan. Big fan of this right here. Anyway, that's enough rambling from me. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Links aren't allowed in the description, so you're going to have to use your Google Foo, but thank you so much for watching. And as always, let's keep on vaping. <laughs> <laughs>